Hey guys, are you ready for the next part of the lesson? If you're not, that's okay. Go back to the first part and the second part of the lesson and practice those as many times as you need to. But if you're ready for this part, let's go. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the first part of the lesson and the second part of the lesson together. So we're gonna use our C, D, and E keys. We're gonna use our one, two, three fingers. And we're gonna start by going up, C, D, E, and then we're gonna come back down, E, D, E. C, okay? So we do the first part, then the second part. Are you ready to watch it? Here it is. Hey guys, what did you think? You think you can do it? Let's try. Okay, but before we do that, let's learn to read music using this. And this is the first time you're gonna see two measures of music. Oh boy. Wow. The first measure is the measure that we took from the first part of the lesson where we see C, D, and E that are all quarter notes, then a rest. We go up because the sound goes up and gets higher. The next measure comes back down. E, D, and C that are quarter notes, then a rest. Let's put the whole pattern together. Do you see? It's C, D, E, rest, E, D, C, rest. Woo! We're gonna try this whole thing eight times, okay? The whole thing eight times. Are you ready to practice it with us? I'm excited. You can do it. Don't worry if it's a little tricky. Just keep practicing. Here we go. Let's go! Hey guys, what did you think? Was that pattern tough? Was it hard to do? Well, we had a lot going on. We had two measures. We were going up, we were coming back down. Remember to practice as many times as you need to. And remember, you can go back to the first or second part of the lesson as many times as you wanna do that too. All right, friends, we've done our C, D, E, E, D, C pattern with the rest, and we're gonna jam it with our band again. Are you Woo! ready to play along with music? Let's do you it. You can do it. Let's go.